Hi guys, um, let's talk about an alarming issue. Testosterone reference ranges according to your local laboratory. Number one, there's some inconsistency. So you've got the British Society of Sexual Medicine Guidelines stating that a normal testosterone level is between 12 and 29. Now, we know that the reference range does not take age into consideration. We know that testosterone levels drop with age. So when you're comparing a normal testosterone of a, an 18 year old and a normal testosterone of an 80 year old, we know that there will be a quantitative difference. It's expected. It's actually part of natural aging. Now what's supposed to happen? You're supposed to grow up, you go through puberty, you find a mate, drag her back to your cave, you procreate, and you raise that child. And then when that child is an adult and can procreate itself, you're supposed to make way shrivel and die. So you become more susceptible to chronic disease, your telomeres, so your chromosomes unravel, and that's actually natural aging. So a drop in testosterone is expected it's actually biology. You're supposed to disappear. You're supposed to make way for the next generation. Now, you shouldn't accept that, obviously, because we are supposedly a highly evolved species. Um, we're not highly evolved or sophisticated. We're pretty stupid. What we've done with our higher consciousness, our high intellect, is actually make ourselves sicker. Wow. Something to be proud of as a human race. We're getting older and we're getting sicker. So we lack quality. However, we have quantity of life because obviously the current medical model is on curative, not preventative measures. So, we're quite happy to go to the doctors, accept a statin for our high cholesterol, and then have the idea, well, we can eat anything, we're on a statin. You know, I hang my head because number one, cholesterol is the precursor to pregnenolone, which then cascades down to cortisol, aldosterone and testosterone. So it's the precursor to your steroid hormones. Now the modern thinking, the evolved thinking, is that actually cholesterol is an inf the raised cholesterol, uh, which is attributable to cardiovascular disease, is actually because it's an inflammatory marker rather than cholesterol actually being the uh, risk factor. So it's more of a marker. Now you've obviously got big pharma that will fight that idea. Um, so, yeah, you know, you, you can you can read the research, you can analyse the data yourself, but just remember that cholesterol is the precursor to pregnenolone, which is the precursor to testosterone. So, reference ranges are decreasing. They are decreasing because we are getting sicker. That is pretty scary. The average man's testosterone now is lower than it was. Why? We haven't changed as a species, apart from the fact we're getting sicker. So it's a scary thought that now you could be considered normal Whereas 20 years ago, your testosterone level would not be considered normal. 
That's quite frightening. Now, unfortunately, the more is better brigade are using this as an excuse to justify super physiological levels. Now, how do you know if you've got super physiological levels? Because there is discussion, there's confusion, there's debate about what is what, what is optimal. Now, I think the best gauge of knowing whether you have an optimal testosterone level is actually your free testosterone. The reference range has gone down to something like 0.2 to 0.7, something like that. Um, but it was about 0.3 to 1. Um, from my clinic, I know that guys above 1 tend to be anxious. They tend to have lower libidos. Uh, they tend to have more issues with raised hematocrits and a decrease in HDL. HDL due to having a high free testosterone. You can look at estrogen, but estrogen is actually a bit of a pain because as a society, we are prone to aromatization. And we're unfortunately prone to aromatization because we are getting sicker. So we do have a propensity to mild liver dysfunction. We are not designed for chemicals. We are not designed to be exposed to pollutants, toxins that are everywhere, artificial light, staying up till past midnight, the blue light from your phone that we're all addicted to. Get my dopamine fix from my likes, from my Facebook posts. Um, so, we are unfortunately prone to aromatization. So let's say looking at your estrogen level and using that as a marker for what your uh, optimal level should be isn't particularly good. So actually free testosterone is the most reliable marker of an optimized normal, normal is optimized, optimized is normal androgen level and where we should be. So I believe that an optimized free testosterone level is probably between about 0.45 and one. However, we are all individuals. We are all unique. We're not special, we're unique. So your perfect level would most likely be within that range. So, Reference ranges are lowering. We are becoming sicker. We need to redress that. We need to look at the cornerstones of health. Lifestyle, nutrition, exercise. Then we need to look at hormonal health. Then we need to look at medicines and other adjuvants such as supplements. Supplements should supplement an already healthy diet. You should not be reaching for your whey protein without having addressed your diet. It would most likely prevent you from needing whey protein. Now, it's actually quite difficult to be healthy and have this puritanical perspective and say, right, I'm only going to eat clean uh, I, because we demand food from all over the world. We demand avocados that come from Chile. We demand them before they've been ripened by the sun and taken the nutrients from the soil. So you should always lead or eat a clean diet, so a natural diet. My f recommendation is a low carb, high fat diet as mother nature hunter gatherer intended. Carbohydrates are the reason for this obesity ep epidemic, or well, it's a major reason for the obesity epidemic and sugars lower testosterone. 
So a low carb, high fat diet would be my recommendation. Fats, 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 lovely, lovely, lovely fats. Oh, my favorite's a big juicy ribeye steak. So you should always try and have a puritanical approach, but common sense would dictate that eating clean on its own may not be enough to give you the right amount of micronutrients necessary for optimal health. So irrespective of a healthy lifestyle, diet, nutrition, unfortunately we are seeing more and more guys with low testosterone at low ages. There's obviously a genetic component to that, but the environment that we live in is not a healthy environment, unfortunately, which is very disappointing. We are highly sophisticated, highly intelligent. Ha, 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 we're not highly intelligent. We are missing the point. The point is we are animals. We need to remember that. We need to remember the fact that anabolic processes predominate when you're resting. The night time, midnight, go to bed early. Midnight should be middle of the night, not rocket science. So testosterone levels increase and they are highest in the morning because it's being produced at night time when you're resting growing and repairing so when you get an abnormal result or a normal result that was is was within the normal reference range you need to question that you need to have a look at the british society for sexual medicine guidelines and be guided by that now unfortunately that again that is a simple picture from the perspective that yes a total testosterone of 12 is not an ideal testosterone for a 18 year old 20 year old 25 year old you can even argue and i would argue that it's not an ideal testosterone for a 60 70 year old who wants to be physically active and enjoy both quality and quantity of life However, you must have a formal diagnosis of low testosterone, which should be made by a clinician before you consider testosterone replacement therapy. You should look at the cornerstones of health, lifestyle, nutrition, exercise, before considering going on something that is a lifelong therapy you should look at reversible causes, to, which may prevent you from needing testosterone replacement therapy. So you need to take responsibility for your own health. You need to have an appreciation of what things you can do and what, what realistic gains you can make, gains, 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 um, to achieve what is ultimately your health your long-term physical and psychological health so eyes wide open please take care guys